Imagine this scenario. You're running an analytics workload in Google Cloud that reads data from Google Cloud Storage and processes it using a data flow job. The amount of data that the job processes has been growing, but your pipeline hasn't had any issues keeping up. You're having lunch when you get an alert on your phone. Your pipeline is returning processing errors. You abandon your lunch, open your laptop, and start investigating. Sure enough, the data flow job is failing. And it turns out that cloud storage requests are resulting in 429 too many request errors. This has never happened before. What could be going on? Well, it's possible you've exhausted a quota in your project and the job is being throttled. My name is Yuri and I'm a site reliability engineer at Google. Today, I'm going to show you how to proactively monitor quotas and get notified when you start to approach the limit so that you can raise the quota and avoid problems like this one. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. Okay, let's dig into this and figure out if the errors you're seeing are actually due to running out of quota. We can start on the quotas page. Here, we can see that we've run out of egress bandwidth quota in this region. Let's go to the products menu and select Metrics Explorer under monitoring. Here, we can plot quota usage against quota limit over time. Both of these metrics are available for the consumer quota resource. The usage metric is called rate quota usage. Rate quotas are typically used for limiting the number of requests you can make to an API or service and are applied over a specific time interval. In this case, the quota is egress bandwidth per second. The other kind of quota is an allocation quota, which restricts how many resources you can have provisioned at a time, such as the number of VMs in the project. They reset when the resources are released, when the VMs are deleted, for example. The other metric we need here is the quota limit metric, which tells us what the limit for this rate usage is. There's another way to view this data. We can use MQL, the monitoring query language, to actually calculate a ratio of quota usage to quota limit. We'll post a link for this query in the episode notes. Here, we clearly see that our usage to limit ratio exceeded one for a period of time. This explains why our job was throttled. So now we know that we did exhaust network egress quota, and that's why our job got throttled and started failing. We submitted a quota increase request, which unblocked our job. Our pipeline is back up and running. We don't want this to keep happening, right? Let's set up an alert that'll notify us if we get close to the new increased quota. Let's start on the alerting screen and create a new alerting policy. We'll use MQL to define this policy, paste the query here and run it to evaluate both the query we've written to calculate the usage to limit ratio and the threshold for that ratio that we want to use to trigger the alert. That threshold is defined here in the last statement in the query using a condition statement. Looks like our signal is correct. We need to name our condition and specify how we want to be notified the next time the alert fires. We also want to specify whether the incident should be automatically closed after some amount of time passes. Let's name the alert. And review the policy to validate that we've defined our signal and threshold correctly. And I think we did. And that's how you can use MQL to calculate the usage to limit ratio and set up alerting to be notified when you start approaching a quota limit in your project. Great, now if we start to get close to the quota, we'll get an alert so we can avoid having our job be throttled again. That's engineering for reliability. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.